Hello everybody, it's my Germit, and today I want to get you an update on the fluorescent lights, which we all know this one's working. I, and if you notice, this one's bright. I fixed this. Um, I changed the bulb. I changed the one that was burnt. I did not change the other one because it was working fine. And here are the bulbs that I tried to change with. So this one we all know is burnt. I didn't really. I just salvaged it. I tried this GE bulb right here. It didn't work. I tried, there are two Phillips bulbs here, I tried them both. This Phillips is, is burned out. This one was not. This one worked, but it seemed to take a while to start the lamp. I tried the, this other bulb and it took a while to start the lamp. I also tried the Utilitech and it took a while to start the lamp, but I, I put in this Westinghouse. As you can see this used bulb, this is a Westinghouse. The one that I showed you in the last video that was designed for a rapid start and preheat light. It's a 40 watt bulb and it drives that lamp and it drives the lamp good. So we're going to try and turn it off and back on. This ballast has a hard time starting the lamps. Well, there you go. It actually did it that time. Do it again. See? And we'll do it a couple, one time with the fixer. You can see the See, this one, this is what I'm talking about. This, the Westinghouse bulb, sometimes it'll take a while to start the lamp, but it will eventually start it up. It's just taking its time. The Phillips bulb, it took forever. This lamp, it takes, goes quick. So now I'll show this one one more time. And we'll try to get that one to start up one more time. Flip the switch every time. Nope. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a look at the ballast and I'm gonna have a look at this ballast real soon and see if I can get it working properly. So anyway